This is an introduction to the Joule search at Walker Library. The Joule search is our main search box on the library homepage at library.mtsu.edu. Joule stands for James E. Walker Library. You can use the Joule search to find books, ebooks, articles, media, course reserves, and more, all from a single search. It's a great starting point for your research because it searches hundreds of different databases all at the same time. Please be aware that it does not search all of our databases. So to see the full list of databases available through the library, click on the Databases A to Z tab. We're going to start by clicking on the Joule Advanced Search link. I prefer the Advanced Search because it gives us more options. Let's do a search for social media. You'll notice that when you start typing in a search term, it suggests other terms to help you narrow your search. So for this search, we received 1,626,952 results. When you receive results that are that large, it tells us right away that our topic is very broad and that we're going to need to narrow it down. I wanted to point out this research starter here at the top of our results. This is great for background information on your topic. It's sort of like Wikipedia, but more reliable. This entry is from the Salem Press Encyclopedia. My first tip is to use the limiters that are on the left side of your screen. One of the most useful limiters is this scholarly, peer-reviewed, academic limiter. Instructors will often request that you use research from scholarly or academic journals. These publications undergo a rigorous review by other scholars in the field. So if you need a scholarly source, be sure to check this limiter. You can also limit to full text, to print books, and streaming video and streaming audio. You can also limit by other source types by scrolling down to source types and clicking show more. This will give you a breakdown of sources available, such as newspapers, journals, books, etc. For example, if your assignment requirements say that you need a newspaper as a source, you can simply check the news, the news limiter, and then you'll see only newspapers in your results. For this search today, I'm going to start off by limiting to scholarly and to full text. Now you'll see that we retrieved academic journals and that our results, results have gone down to 329,000. Another tip is to add some more search terms up here at the top. One option is to use the suggested terms. For example, we might select social media marketing, which is a much more specific topic. Notice that takes us down to 7,000 results. And let's add some more search terms. For example, we might want to add in teens. Now we're down to 15. So you can see our results are much smaller as we add in more terms and hopefully more relevant. Anytime that you connect your terms with AND, you'll narrow down to fewer results. If you want to broaden your search and get more results, one strategy is to use OR to connect your terms. For example, we might type in teens or and see if the suggestions here of teenagers, adolescent, or young adult. So now we're broadening out and we're not only looking for teens, but these other synonyms. So see, we've gone up to 299. So try to be flexible with your search terms and play around with what keywords you use. Let's take a look at one of our results here and look at the actual article information. If you click on the title, it will take you to some more information about that article. So here we have the title, the authors, the source information, the publication year, and some subject terms. And I really want you to pay attention to the abstract. If there's an abstract provided, I highly suggest that you read those because it helps you decide if this is going to be relevant for you or not. Instead of reading an entire article, skim through the abstract, and then you can see if you want to read the article. 
Then if you want to read the article, you'll look for links that say full text. When the article opens up, you'll have some options at the top for printing or saving. And there are some tools over here on the right to print, to email it to yourself, and to get the citation. By clicking on the cite icon right there, it'll give you some choices. You can look for the format that you need for your specific assignment, which is usually APA or MLA. So you see here's the APA. If we scroll down a little bit, here's the MLA. You can copy and paste that citation onto your Works Cited page. Back here on the, our results page, my last tip is that you can chat with a librarian if you need help. You can chat with us right here within the Jewel Search by clicking in this box. Or you can chat with us from the library homepage by clicking on the Ask Us tab. We're happy to help and answer any questions you might have.